Now, you may have seen the story on A Current Affair last night about Temptation contestant Harry. He was knocked out of the quiz show on Friday night, the victim, he says, of unfair tactics by another contestant. Well, Harry's back home in Brisbane and we'll catch up with him in a minute for the latest. But first, a recap. For two big nights, no one could match the fast responses of Temptation contestant Harry. But when Harry met Lainey, his winning streak took a turn for the worse. Head to head with fellow contestant Charles, Friday night's game looked to be a close match. Which 1986 movie featured the Oscar winning song by the band Berlin? Harry, Top Gun. But it was in the final 60 seconds that Laney's actions aroused suspicion. A long way behind the leaders, equal at the start of the final round, that didn't stop Laney from continuously pushing the buzzer, whether or not she knew the answers. Mate, snakes and lows. The buzzing frenzy began after Charles had taken the lead. It was enough to keep Harry just below the new leader, ultimately losing the game. I helped Charles a bit, I hope. <laughs> the outcome left Harry feeling cheated of a potential big win, and it seems Australians agree. He recently returned from his honeymoon to discover hundreds of sympathetic emails. Back in his hometown of Brisbane, locals are also throwing their support behind Harry. He should get another fair go because he didn't get a fair go at the start. I think it's unfair if the lady was to do that and I think they should um, redo another show for them, for those people, in all fairness, and that um, that's just being greedy. If she couldn't win, she shouldn't... It's not very Australian. Bring Harry back. 9MSN has also been running a poll. So far, 90% of respondents support Harry. But despite calls to give Harry a second chance, executive producer Michael White says Temptation has a new champion, and it's not Harry. Unfortunately, Harry can't come back. The game was uh, run and won. Oh, nasty business. And back on home ground today, the man of the moment, Harry. Let's get this straight, Harry. Are you a sore loser? No, I'm not, Gillian. I just... Uh... It's been quite overwhelming what happened. I was beaten on the night, I guess. I just would have liked to have been beaten a bit more fairly. But there has been an outpouring of support for you today. And what does that feel like? It must be pretty amazing. It's been overwhelming. Uh, since we arrived back in Australia on Sunday from honeymoon, it's just been uh, the phone doesn't stop ringing from media all over the country. There are people telling me there's blogs all over the country on me. <laughs> it's uh, the big poll on Channel 9, which is, there's thousands of people voting for me. Uh, I was just flown to Sydney by the current affair and I've just got back and now I'm here. It's overwhelming. It is incredible. Did you ever imagine on the night that you did lose that it, it was going to be this big and this controversial? No, I was very disappointed on, on the night and the, the studio audience cheered me off and booed the other two <laughs> contestants. Um, but then I, I felt disappointed and I let my fiancé down at the time, I thought, but I just got used to it and got over it. And then I came back into this and it's, it's amazing, it's huge. It has been huge. And despite all the publicity and support after last night's television report, I'm sorry to tell you that the powers that be at Temptation are standing firm. We spoke to them just before and they've confirmed with us that you won't get another go on the show. Are you disappointed? about that? I'm terribly disappointed. I understand that the, but the thousands of people that have voted for me so far I keep voting anyway while, <laughs> while, while, while it's still there. It's, it's nice. OK, and what are your plans now? I believe you have a, a pub trivia business. That's right. I've been running pub trivias in Brisbane for eight years now, so uh, it'll, it'll be back to that world. I've had done 1,800 shows and uh, I need to be back on stage in a couple of hours' time. Well, good luck with everything and thanks for joining us, Harry. Thanks, Gillian.